laptops slow loud and overheating let's fix it hey new techs welcome back this is ash from here my pc helping you go from newbie to techie on this channel we do repairs tutorials and reviews of tech including some general tips to help you unleash your true potential if you are new to this channel consider subscribing i usually include various links and resources of the things i talk about both in the card above and the description below so at any point, feel free to pause the video and check them out. We are an affiliate partner of Amazon, so any Amazon link can help the channel get a small kickback. Also, this video is not sponsored by anyone. Now back to the topic of this video. This Dell Inspiron 1545 laptop featured in a previous upload I did entitled Troubleshoot and Fix a Slow Laptop Part 1. Now don't worry, this is not Part 2. This is an independent spin-off, which I decided to do for two reasons. One, the loud revving noise was really winding me up, and I'm sure some of you guys can empathize. And number two, this actually looked relatively quick and easy to access and fix, so I thought, why not? Now, in contrast, I have done a repair of an overheating laptop on a previous make and model, uh, which was a Sony Vi, or you can check it out. And that was a bit more difficult to access and to clean. Okay, so in this uh, repair footage, I did not remove the battery for three reasons. One, I forgot. Two, the battery was already dead. And three, like I said, I forgot. Duh, but you should not do that. You should always do the three precautionary steps as follows. Number one, unplug the power cable, number two, remove the battery, and number three, press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to discharge any static electricity before you attempt any repair. Also, I did not bother cleaning the fan which is located underneath this grid because when I shone a light, it didn't look too dusty. And uh, that would also have meant I would have had to take the whole back um, cover off, which I didn't want to do. Still, when I remove this fluff, which was located somewhere here it actually did the trick and i apologize that you're going to see this fluff in the forefront of the footage a lot because i forgot to remove it from this angle i couldn't see it i do apologize okay let's talk about the tools you're going to need for this project you're going to need a small phillips head screwdriver i'm actually using an electrical one just for speed really you're also going to need some sort of plastic flat spudger uh, avoid using a metallic one. You could also use a screwdriver like a flat uh, plastic one. This is to avoid scraping the CPU off. This is for any dried off thermal paste you need to take off. Of course, you're going to need some alcohol, some sort of cotton wipe. Uh, you could also use tissue, but try to use something lint free. Q-tip or what do you call that? The cotton bud might come in handy for hard to reach places. And uh, the most important would be some thermal paste. Now, in this, I'm using the Arctic MX2. Sometimes I do use a generic one, like this is a silicone cooler paste. This is like a 20 gram tube for about four pounds. This was also about four pounds, I think, or maybe less. I can't remember. I'll put the link in the description. Now, guys, I'm not really obsessed with thermal paste. Of course, if you're going to do any overclocking, you should try and use better thermal paste. And there are plenty of information online. I'm not really fussed about it. The method. First, to remove this back cover, it was held by four screws. And all you need to do is take them off one two three and four just undo them and while you're there just clean off the back cover from any dust okay next you're gonna have to remove the cooler and it's held by one two three four and five screws and once you undo them this will easily come off if you're having any resistance use the flat plastic spudger and insert between the cooler and the cpu and try to pry it open but don't apply too much force hopefully it should come off once that's off you can inspect the fan exhaust system and uh, remove the nasty fluff and if there's any dust try and clean that off and also, now that you've got the whole cooler off, you should try and clean the fins. Now use your plastic spudger and scrape off any dried thermal paste you can see. Now, on this model, you're only going to have thermal paste on the CPU and not on the GPU because the GPU is using a different type of cooling pad, so it's not necessary. Also wipe off any thermal paste from the cooler. Next, use your alcohol wipe to wipe off any remaining thermal paste and uh, make sure they're both dry, both on the CPU and the CPU cooler. After that, simply relocate the cooler 
back onto the CPU carefully and screw all the screws back into place. Now that's done, before you place the back cover, you want to check if the laptop is working fine. So, so plug your power cable back in, turn on your laptop and launch a few applications to test the laptop for the noise and temperature. You can also download some apps to stress test the CPU and monitor the temperature like Prime95 and Hardware Monitor. Okay, now that's done. In the next video, I'm going to be continuing the fixing the slow laptop, which we identified that this was the culprit, it was the hard disk. Also, this laptop looks like it's relatively easy to upgrade, and I mean a full upgrade. So we can upgrade the RAM, we can upgrade the CPU, and maybe even the GPU. And finally, we can upgrade the hard disk. I probably will do a video on this if you guys are interested to see a complete laptop upgrade depending on my financial situations and depending if I can get my hands on the upgrade parts. Especially if I'm going to keep this laptop for my own use as a backup as still I don't have a laptop for my own personal use. So let me know down below or on these various contacts platforms. There you go. I hope you have benefited from this video. If you're wondering what to watch next, you can check out my other uploads on my channel or the couple of video which should be appearing right about now since I'm using YouTube's new and slate feature. Consider subscribing to this channel, like, dislike and share this vid and leave me a comment. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. This was Ash from Heal My PC helping you go from newbie to techie. So go ahead and unleash your true potential. Until next time, peace out.